We've been using safes for hundreds of years to keep valuable objects such as money, jewellery or important documents secure. Although there are lots of sophisticated safes today, we're going to look at the workings of one of the simplest ones. Let's say our combination is 10, 56 and 77. When we want to open the safe, we first need to turn the dial left a couple of times and then stop exactly at the first number, 10. Next we turn the dial right, passing the second number once and then stop exactly at the second number, which is 56. Then we turn the dial left and stop exactly at the third number, 77. Finally we can turn the handle to open the safe's door. Let's see how the locking mechanism works. It consists of three wheels, steel bars and an unlocking mechanism which is connected with the handle. Every wheel has a gate. If the number combination is wrong, the gates can't be aligned and so the handle can't be turned since the lever can't move inward through the gates. When the number combination is correct, all the gates are aligned, the lever can move inward through the gates and the steel bars move. Then we just need to pull the unlocked door to open it. But exactly how do the wheels work? The third wheel is called the drive wheel. It's directly connected with the dial. There are some pins on the wheels. Let's separate the wheels and stretch the pins to see more clearly how they work. When we turn the dial left, the drive wheel also turns left. If we keep turning the dial left, eventually the drive wheel's pin and the second wheel's pin collide and begin to turn together. If we keep turning the dial left, the other second wheel pin and the first wheel pin collide and begin to turn together. So after a couple of turns of the dial, all the wheels begin to turn together. That's why we needed to turn the dial left a couple of times at the beginning. We wanted to make sure that every wheel was turning together. After that, in order to align the first gate, we keep turning the dial left and stop exactly at the first number 10. Then we turn the dial right until we pass the second number once and then stop exactly at the second number, which is 56. Because the drive wheel's pin and the second wheel's pin are separated when the dial is started to turn right, we want to make sure the drive wheel picks up the second wheel. That's why we turn the dial once more. After that we turn the drive wheel left, which turns alone, and then stop exactly at the third number, which is 77. As you might guess, if we change the pin's location, we can change the combination of numbers. And if we add more wheels, we'll add more numbers into the combination. Almost all safes have a spring-loaded relocker. If a safe is exposed to a physical impact, such as a powerful hammer blow or the vibration of a drill, the relocker moves and locks the safe. Also, in order to increase security, additional combination locking mechanisms, key locks, electronic locks, and a time lock can be added to safes. Most safes not only secure valuable objects against theft, but they also protect valuables against damage by fire, water and dust. <laughs>